Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 4. Thank you so much for joining me again. At the end of the last episode, uh, we fought this guy, this overboss guy. And uh, with the help of this guy over here named Gage, we were able to use a squirt gun to uh, take him out. There's our squirt gun. <laughs> we could squirt uh, Longfellow in the face, and he doesn't like it very much. <laughs> he doesn't like it at all. <laughs> Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, we took care of that, and right now our current objective is to uh, speak to Gage. I defeated Overboss Coulter. The Thirst Zapper worked. Now I need to speak to Gage to find out what kind of offer he has in mind. So let's go do that right now. Let's go see what offer he has in mind. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. It did work. Uh, you wanted him dead? So you really wanted the Overboss dead? Dead. Out of the way. What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. Okay. Um, yeah, well, oh, we're supposed to make a joke? Or we're supposed to say I've had tougher challenges? Or we're supposed to thank him? Sure, dude, thanks to you. <laughs> thanks to you? <laughs> Not a bad plan. And what do you know? It worked. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. Mm -hmm. But you need to listen. Okay. Taking out Colder wasn't just a last minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this. And give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. Um. So, does that mean I'm in charge? First you lure me in here, and now you want me to run the place? Something like that. Let me explain. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Um, why me, dude? Why me? I'm sure you're better suited for the job. We'll get into that later. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. Thanks, Gage. Take your time. Okay, we've completed Taken for a Ride. Ooh, we got an achievement for it, too. Oh, man. What the heck is going on around here? Uh, this door over here is opened as well. Um, started an ambitious plan. Speak to Gage in the Overboss's quarters. This quest looks like this. I need to meet Porter Gage in the Overboss's quarters in Nuka World so he can explain to me what's going on and what's expected of me. Uh, I guess this is the door we came in. Yeah, this is the door we came in. Uh, we've already looted all this stuff in here. Doesn't mean I didn't miss something, but... Uh, I guess there are no other doors around here that we need, need to worry about. Although the fence is kind of in bad shape over here. I don't think we can get out. Look at that there. It's like a monkey gorilla sitting through a chair. Uh, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, it keeps telling me that I'm over-encumbered. Uh, I'm carrying too much, and I cannot run. That's something that we're going to need to take, of, take care of real quick. Um, but I don't know if we could fast travel yet. Um, we could... Oh, yeah, we could fast travel to the Commonwealth. But I don't have any place to travel back to. I'd be able to travel back to Nuka Station, but I'm way over here now. 
So we're going to have to discover a new area that we can fast travel back to. So let's uh, do that right now. Hey, look, a baseball cap. I need a new baseball cap. All that gear around is just going to slow you down. Yeah, well, it'd be nice if you could help me, but you're a big wuss. Oh, you know what? Actually, speaking of being a big wuss, let's talk to Longfellow because I think I saw that he idolizes us now. Hey, Longfellow. Hey. What? Let's talk to him. Excuse me. I'd still like to talk, Captain. It's important, at least to me. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's so important, man? What's so important? At my age, any chance to make a new friend is, well, it ain't something I'd expect to happen much. But I'm glad it did. There's more to it than that, though. Long time ago, when I was a young man, I had a sweetheart. Anna was her name. And we planned to get married and raise a family and all that. Well, we had a place out in the fog we used to meet so we could be alone. Damn children of Adam jumped us. They took her and left me for dead. Took two months to recover from my injuries. By then, it was too late. They'd warped her mind and turned her into their ways. It was only later I learned she was carrying our child. Of course, the baby didn't stand a chance with all that radiation. Adam's will, she called it. Anyway, she died a few years later. Trappers got her. Or so them lunatics said. I guess that was Adam's will, too. Hmm. So, uh, why are you telling me this? Nah, let's not ask that. Dude, I'm really sorry. I didn't know. I'm so sorry, Longfellow. Yeah. Well... We all got our scars, right? Truth is, what happened to Hannah was her choice, and so be it. But I never got to be a father, and that's what I regret. I don't if think I, I could help you with that. If I had a son or daughter, well, I'd have someone to pass on all my learning to. But you, you're the first person I've met that's worth teaching what I've got to teach. I ain't good with telling people that I'm grateful. But you've given this old hunter a sense of purpose. And a reason for living. That's something I ain't had for a long time. Hmm. Well, uh, that, uh, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> that means a lot to me, dude. Thanks, Longfellow. It means a lot to me that you think so. Well, that was all I had to say. I appreciate you hearing me out. All right, we have finally reached the highest level of affinity with old Longfellow, and because of that, we've gained the Hunter's Wisdom perk. Let's check it out. Let's see what this perk gets us. Uh, let's bring up our, uh, let's see, we go into stats, and we go to perks, and we scroll down to the H's for Hunter's Wisdom. There it is right there. Thanks, hello, uh, thanks to your relationship, with Old Longfellow, the damage resistance and energy resistance of animals and sea creatures is reduced by 25%. Okay, so I guess their damage resistance is reduced. Okay. Alright, well that's, that's pretty big right there, 25%. Yeah, that's nothing to sneeze at. But, the really, really good news is that uh, we don't have to travel with Longfellow anymore. And I'm glad about that because he can't carry crap. And you know I like to carry crap. So uh, when we find uh, a fast travel point, um, I'll, I'll go back to uh, Sanctuary, take care of my uh, inventory, and choose a new travel mate. Let's uh, check out this control terminal, see if there's anything cool on it. System override, arena operations mode automatic, arena status inactive, change operations mode, security door control. Oh, accessing arena operations mode failed, system lockout, custom error, custom error message. Don't fuck with the arena, idiots, gauge. Alright, I guess we won't fuck with the arena. Okay, and then I don't see any reason to sh shut the door, so we'll just leave the door open there. All right, well, let's uh, let's get back to exploring. That's what we do. That's why we play these games, to explore, right? Here is uh, a gondola that's going to take us, I guess, right there. But uh, before we jump on that thing, let's look around down here and uh, see what there is to see. Let's see. This will take us to Nuka World. 
Here we've got a terminal park map pamphlet. Let's read it. Okay, so here is a map of the park. Um, I wish I could look at it larger. I can't scroll in. Uh, looks like up in the upper left-hand corner there was a uh, roller coaster coming soon. But uh, where we are on this map, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I know that we're at Cola Cars, but I can't really tell where that is on the map. So, and even if we could, I'm not sure it would help all that much. But let's go ahead and take one of these. Why not? Take it as a souvenir. Going to take stuff from this CAD register. I'd like service, please. So, uh, what was this desk here for? I mean, this was a bumper car's place. Okay, bottle cap. I don't need a microscope. Green rag hat. Surveyor outfit. Comfy pillow. Okay, all kinds of great stuff. Here is a first aid box. A wake master alarm clock. I don't need that either. Uh, these trash cans, I just can't believe the stuff that's in these things, man. Lots of good stuff in the trash cans. Uh, this will also take us back to Nuker World. As will this. Cola cars. Anything good in here? Yeah, look at all this stuff. So I, I just picked up a souvenir magnet badge. What's that? Is that under miscellaneous? It's probably under junk, right? I want to look at it. Souvenir magnet badge. Let's inspect it. Oh, it's one of these things. We saw one of these in um, oh DB whatever school. DB something or other high school. I don't remember the full name of it. So that's probably a um, Nuka World edition, I guess. I don't know. And this also takes us to Nuka World. Here are the turnstiles. And they put like a little cage in here. Uh, I guess maybe they keep dogs here. Here is a burnt book, a table knife, an empty blood pack. I don't want to know what's going on in here. Doesn't look good or pleasant. Uh, that is quite a sculpture there. It's not a sculpture, is it? What, what was the word I was looking for? Not sculpture. I don't know. I just broke it. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize it was so, so um, delicate. So this place is kind of strange. What's with this ape up here? Pa Pack rad gorilla chair. Pack rad gorilla. I don't like the sound of that. You know, I mean that makes me think that we're probably going to face these things at some point. He's our new buddy. Alright, stand up. Uh, really not a whole lot going on down here. There are some steps down here. That's all collapsed. Caved in. I don't know what's more so or my back or my feet. Well, let me know when you figure it out, dude. That's not good. Why do you want that kind of stuff hanging around? That's nasty. Oh, look. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Hey there. The best thing about wearing a mask? Not having hmm. to look like I care when people talk to me. <laughs> That's funny. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Mm -hmm. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. I hate when that happens. Hey. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Really? So this guy's a disciple. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made his team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Always keep your knife sharp. No one likes sloppy work. Well, I agree with you on that one. What the hell? Operator training dummy? Activate. Look at that. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I'm taking the silver pocket watch. Still lying about. Anything in the curio? Some rounds. It's cool uh, paintings here. All right. So, where the heck is this place that this guy wants us to meet him? I guess it's in Nuka World, huh? Yeah, it's looking that way, isn't it? 
Can I not call the elevator up here? Yeah, I can. Let's just do this. Just for fun. Because this does look like fun, doesn't it? Whee! Oh boy, it was fun. Did I not see this bar here? I don't think I did. Ooh, soap. I need some soap. Hmm. Uh, anything good? Nah, not really. It's nothing good here. I'm a little disturbed at how I just didn't even notice this part, part right here. Alright, whatever. So, yeah, it's telling me to go in here. So, that's where we're going to go. We're going to leave coal, cola cars. There's nothing else in here for us. Um, so, to Nuka World we go. And maybe this will give us a place to fast travel to. Discovered Cola Cars Arena. Oh, now you tell me. Alright. Um, so now if we look at our map, we'll see Cola Cars Arena. So that gives me a fast travel point. So what I'm going to do now is travel back to the Commonwealth. And then once we're back in the Commonwealth, I will fast travel back to Sanctuary and uh, take care of my inventory. So I'm at the Nuka World Transit Center now. And just like Far Harbor, we have to do this two-step thing to get back. So now I'm going to fast travel back to Sanctuary. And at Sanctuary, like I said, I'm going to take care of my inventory. And I'm going to select a different travel partner. Um, I don't know who I'm going to pick because we've reached the highest level of affinity with everyone. Except for one person. Uh, somebody told me in a comment that uh, uh, somebody named X686 or X666, I don't remember what his name is. He was a he was a institute courser. He's available to be one of our companions, but for some reason he hasn't joined us, and I don't know how to how to get him to join us. Um, but the only reason I bring it up is because he is the only companion that we haven't reached the high, highest level of affinity with. We haven't even traveled with him. Um, but uh, I guess we'll have to worry about that at some point. Wow, for some reason there's 14 battered clipboards right there. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to take care of my inventory and choose another travel companion, and then after I do that, uh, we'll resume. Uh, so I'm going to cut out this part where I'm taking care of my inventory. You know the deal. So I'll be right back. All right, I took care of my inventory. We're right back here, uh, right outside the doors to Cola Cars. And who did I decide would be my new companion? Well, I went back to Starlight Drive-In and picked up our good buddy Automatron 989. Uh, if you watched earlier in this uh, playthrough, you saw that I played the Automatron DLC. And in that DLC, uh, you're given the ability to build robots. And Automatron 989 is one of those robots I built. The reason I went back and got Automatron 989 is because this guy can carry a ton of stuff. Uh, at the time, I felt like it was kind of like cheating having uh, these robots walk around with you. But, uh, eh. You know, I'm just going to basically use him to carry stuff. I mean, he does have some weaponry on him, like built in, but uh, he's he's going to be my pack mule. That's what he's going to be. So hopefully that will uh, cut down on the trips to uh, Sanctuary. Um, and that's something I really want to do, especially when I'm in a DLC like Nuka World, because it's kind of a pain in the butt to do that two-step process to uh, get back to Sanctuary to take care of my inventory. But inventory managed, and uh, Automatron 989 is our companion. Uh, we are here, if you look at the map, you'll see that we are at uh, Cola Cars Arena. And uh, let's just start exploring this place. Um, I'm pretty excited about a new place to explore. I'm also pretty excited that it's actually daytime for once and not foggy or nighttime or anything like that. It's actually daytime. I can kind of see what I'm doing. Let's see where this takes us. So I'm just going to pick up I agree. I'm just going to pick up all kinds of crap with our good buddy uh, 989 here. Um, he'll help us. Uh, I wonder if this is where we were in the uh, gauntlet. I think it was because I think I remember that bear. And um, remember we came out. Yeah, there's one of the uh, turrets that I destroyed. We came out and they were like shooting at us from up above. Uh, so it's kind of cool. I'm glad I went this way, because I remember there was like an upstairs part up here that I wanted to get into. Um, so I see the upstairs part, but I'm still not real sure on how to get in there. 
or get up there. I think I hear that uh, there was a vending machine that um, there was like a little TV on it. I think that's what I'm hearing. So let's see. These are the stairs that we saw them go down. What's this place here? Oh, some kind of office, I guess. Let's check it out. Uh, some cartridges in there. There's a shot glass. I don't want that, but I will go ahead and take the technical documents. Rounds in there. More rounds and a technical document in there. Rounds in there. Man, these, these people are just gun crazy. Ammo everywhere. What else is around here? Looks like uh, a garage, maybe? Yeah, this looks like a garage. Nothing in there. Whoa. Holy cow. Whew. Wow, could we, like, run all the way over there if we wanted to? I guess, huh? Wow. So, big wall here. I guess this is, like, the wall surrounding Nuka World. This wall right here, huh? We are supposed to go here to speak to Gates. That's where the Overboss's quarters are, but we're going to do some exploring first. I don't know if I'm going to explore the whole place before we go there. Probably not. We'll explore a little bit of it. 